Wendy is in the lead with 5,800 points. Yes, finally. Unfortunately for one of you, we've reached the most stress-inducing part of the show, the it's elimination okay, round. <laughs> You'll be all right. It was so cool playing with you. It was all, all fun. <laughs> There's still one more game. There's still one more game. And for tonight's elimination game, we're playing Logged Off. Oh, yeah. Nasty. We laugh a lot here at After Midnight, but some things aren't funny. Some things are just plain important. And we should give those things the dignified respect they deserve. Like this titan of industry, Thorin Bradley. so embarrassing to watch that with other people. <laughs> <laughs> this may shock you, but there are some people who only celebrate Thorin for his incredibly, almost shockingly good looks. Oh, oh. No. Yeah. <laughs> I live nearby. I live nearby. So I live nearby. Yeah, yeah. yeah she good. in her bikini She's with her fierce, tongue out. Honey. Yeah. <laughs> the objectification <laughs> stops now. For tonight's elimination game, I'm going to play the full-length video of Thorin chopping wood, and while it's playing, You'll buzz in to give us as many pickup lines as possible that don't reference his looks at all. 500 points for every pickup line. Let's go. <laughs> Bianca, back that axe up. <laughs> Wendy, I bet you're good at math. <laughs> Wendy again. Uh, after your taxes, what's your net income? <laughs> I identify as a woodpecker. <laughs> Wendy, I like the way you breathe <laughs> when you do that. <laughs> Bianca, enough with the chopping. Get to <laughs> my salad. <laughs> Reggie. Hey. <laughs> and they all better work when I use them to slide into his DMs later. <laughs> Wendy is in the lead with 8,300 points. <laughs> Bianca is in second with 8,100. <laughs> and Reggie is in third with 4,800. Looks like Reggie is the lowest score. Aww. Which yes. tragically means that you have been eliminated. <laughs> Before we let you go, please give your concession speech to the audience as if you are a politician who just lost an election. <laughs> um, well, my fellow Americans, <laughs> it isn't always easy to be a part of a nation as great as this nation is, but I tell you, whatever games you play, whatever things and challenges you look upon, your days everlasting, the wars of torn, of corn, of the wars of torn, or the sounds of war thorn, thorn, giving its thorn for the last thorn. I tell you, I take this elimination with pure humility and gratuity. <laughs> Thank you. And that lot. Uh. <laughs> Thanks, Reggie. You don't get our vote, but you did get our laughs. Oh. Take care. Uh, it happens every night, but I'm never ready. We've come to the final act of our show, which means it's for the win. <laughs> and man, is tonight's winner lucky, because they're going home with this old prop beret that a CBS executive thought was kind of stupid. I'm I mean, it, <laughs> just imagine all the cool stuff you could do in this beret. Eat a baguette bury the body of a small animal that died of natural causes. <laughs> the possibilities are endless. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Looks like things are about to get spooky. Oh, my god. I forgot it was going to happen again. If you're a big Reddit guy, you might have come across the subreddit two-sentence horror. 
On this page, people post the first sentence of a horror story, and Reddit users provide a terrifying second sentence, like this one. When I was five, my grandparents told me they took me in when my parents died. When I was 10, I saw them on the news begging me to come home. <laughs> Scary, right? But, you know, we all had a goth phase, right? No judgment. <laughs> I wish I was that cool in high school. <laughs> so for tonight's For the Win, I'm going to put one sentence on the board, and our finalists will come up with a scary second sentence. The spookiest two-sentence story will be our winner, which will be determined by our audience. <laughs> Here is your first sentence. I installed a new nightlight in the hallway because my son is afraid of the dark. Finalists, channel your inner R.L. Stein. After the break, we'll pick our winner and also our loser, because that's how the game works. <laughs> After midnight, we'll be right back. Woo!